Dogumentary TV, producing the best breed documentaries on YouTube. All right, guys, what's going on? This is Zeke. This is Dogumentary TV. This is a special um, video. I have Stanko from all the way from Serbia. He is a uh, breeder, owner of the Serb Serbian uh, defense dog. Now, obviously, I live in the United States. I don't have access to Serbian defense dogs, but I know my audience is very much international, and you guys want uh, dog breeds from all over the world. What I'm going to try to do is set up uh, video calls like this with people who are familiar with the with the dog breeds, and uh, and do this. Uh, I mean, it's not what I would what I would love to do is go to Serbia and sit down with Stan Coe and actually touch his dogs and kind of experience uh, his dogs in real life. But uh, for expediency sake, sake and uh, to keep things moving, we're going to use a little bit of technology. Uh, in addition to this interview, uh, Stan Coe is going to give me some video footage that I'll include so you guys can take a look at his dogs. All right? Hello. Stan Coe, please, brother, Hello. introduce yourself. Hello. I want to... Uh, to send you greetings from Serbia. First of all, I want to thank you for inviting me to participate in your documentary TV. I have great respect for your work. I, I saw a lot of your your videos. My name is Stanislav Čirk, but uh, my friends call me Stanko. And today I I, talk, I, I will talk about Serbian Defense Dog. I, I'm from Serbia and I represent my channel of Serbian Defense Dog. So, so listen, take your time. We the video connection is not that great, so just you know, take. I know. First of all, let me tell you guys. Uh, Stan Coe is obviously his first language is not English, uh, so we're gonna uh, be patient and uh, and I want you to take your time, Stan Coe, because uh, I'll, I'll edit this later. So just just take your time. I know that you have. Uh, uh, first of all, repeat for me the name of your kennel. Od Tara Dušana on Serbian language, and uh, from Emperor Dušan. Dušan in, in English. Okay. Hey, real quick, uh, Stanko. Also, let's introduce your, your your lovely girlfriend because obviously she's helping you with the English. So just if she wants to say hi or you want to send her a shout out. Okay. <laughs> uh, she is uh, my girlfriend is Ognjenka Bubljevic. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Hello. Nice to meet you. Thank you for helping us out with this. No problem at all. It's my pleasure. <laughs> She's helping me a lot about the English. All right, so let me get into these questions for you, Stanko. Um, okay. The first question that I sent you was, uh, please tell me what was the original Siberian, I'm sorry, the Serbian Mastiff, um, and what, what exactly, when did it exactly go extinct? According to Mr. Nenad Gavrilovic, he's a um, uh, creator of the breed. He uh, he told me that uh, original Serbian Mastiff is originated on the Balkan from Cave Wolf. Many other dogs originated from Grey Wolf, but original Serbian Mastiff became from Cave Wolf because the Balkan Peninsula first came out from Ice Age in Europe. According to the latest archaeological findings, that is the very first Europe civilization started. Uh, the purpose of the Serbian uh, Mastiff was to protect uh, domestic uh, animals from wild beasts and to fight in the wars with the army, army of old Serbs, uh, which called uh, Sorabs. The Serbian Mastiff extinct in the 1950s when the communists ruled over the Serbian people and destroyed all the all of the important features of Serbian people. Uh, since um, Mr. Nenad Gavrilovic reconstructed the, the Serbian Mastiff from the dogs in which there is a cave wolf genes, something, sometimes a dog, a dog can have a two inch long uh, canine teeth. When did the recreation of this breed happen? Uh, the recreation started in 1918 first. Uh, 1981 to 1991 year. Mr. Nenad Gavrilovic, he he started to 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 reconstruct the, this uh, this breed, but but unfortunately the start uh, war in in 1992 
Okay, right. So, After he finished his job. Okay. Uh, so, we're not gonna, so, so we're not going to get too much into the details of the war. So oh, basically, oh. there was a war in 1992. Yes. That stopped. Uh, yeah, that stopped the uh, that stopped his ability to keep working with the breed. Yes, that is a very difficult time because Mr. Nemec Gavrilovic are from Sarajevo, from Bosnia and Herzegovina, and uh, he must move uh, in in Belgrade, and he uh, uh, he had uh, about uh, uh, when he finished the the breed, he had uh, about hundred dogs with the same uh, physiological and uh, physical characteristics. Okay. Unfortunately, when the war started, many puppies died because there was no vaccination, and many big dogs died uh, and being killed in during the war. Right. Mr. Gavrilovic went to Serbia with with about twenty of his dogs and four wolves. Okay, okay. Five liters of puppies died because of lack of money for their vaccination, and Belgrade Zoo accepted some of Mr. Nana dogs and four wolves. And that uh, was the great uh, advertising for Serbian defense dog because uh, on the cages where, where these dogs were located, uh, there is a small uh, uh, description of, of the breed. And many people uh, introduce themselves with, with breed in, in Belgrade Zoo. Okay. So what breeds did he use to reconstruct the Serbian defense dog again? Uh, these these breeds are Neapolitan Mastiff, uh, Neos, uh -huh. uh, Bosnian Tornjak, uh, like um, uh, like a shepherd dog. The, the third breed is uh, Rottweiler. Okay. Uh, fourth breed is okay. American uh, Staffordshire uh, Terrier, and Wolf. And Wolf. And Wolf. And Wolf. Yes. Okay. Why did he determine to use these dogs specifically? Uh, because uh, these dogs are showing on the Balkan Peninsula in the past. This gene is uh, saved in, in dead breeds, particularly dead breeds, because uh, everybody knows the, the Roman Empire was very big, and, and they have these war dogs who are cross, uh, crossing all the time of, of, Balkan. over Balkan Peninsula. Okay, okay. And, and uh, uh, Rottweiler is also sibling to to old uh, to old uh, Mastiff, and and that that that's the old war dogs. But but American Staffordshire Terrier is is very uh, very uh, interesting because uh, they uh, they have origin in in Ireland, Celtics, Celt. Celtic, Celts, sorry. And where? So, uh, from Ireland. for Ireland okay. and Celts. Uh, that is origin of the dog uh, from Celts. And Celts and Serbs have uh, uh, five hundred similar words. That is uh, that is the similar similarity with with uh, with these people. Uh, we we can find uh, some roots uh, between Serbian and Celt people, Be and, and that that is reason why why he used uh, American stuff for this territory. Uh, did dog fighting at all play into the development of this breed? Dogs fight played a major role in the development of Serbian defense dog breed to confirm that the Serbian SDD or Serbian defense dog can defeat uh, defend people from uh, dogs and other wild, wild animals. Only in fights uh, you can see physical and inner strength of a dog, and that cannot be seen on exhibitions. My nation is small and poor, but uh, with a lots of new rich individuals. The many rich individuals show showing up suddenly, and they bought various breeds from abroad. <clears throat> it is some kind of status symbol for them. Everybody wants to have the strongest dog. Even the dog fights uh, were not prohibited in, in former Yugoslavia. The Serbian defense dog fought uh, fiercely against dog Argentino, Tosainu, Central Asian Shepherd, Pitbull Terriers, and all of kind of bundles. And some black hunting dogs from Australia, from which they claimed to be the strongest uh, dog in the world. Uh, SDD beat them all and won all these rivals. 
in that time uh, when 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 that uh, that uh, dog fight uh, was allowed it, by the law. <coughs> now 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 it's prohibited. Now now you, you no longer you can no longer uh, do it. <coughs> so I just want to want to I want to <coughs> summarize what I got from what you just said because I want to make sure that people understand. So basically, the the premise was that uh, the Serbi the Serbian defense dog was supposed to be fierce, a fierce fighter, able to take on men and uh, and wild animals. Yeah. Therefore, you guys, back when it was legal, which again, you know, we don't ever really want to promote dog fighting, but yeah. the reality of it is, is that when it was legal in Yugoslavia, these dogs fought Dogo Argentinos, American Pit Bull Terriers, Kangles, and all. Basically, to prove that the dog was a fierce warrior, and you felt like, the, or the, the, I guess the thought at the time was that that was the only way to prove that this dog would be willing to take on beast and man in battle. Yes, uh, there is uh, there is uh, some uh, some examples when when a Serbian defense dog uh, fighting in the ring. I heard from from uh, uh, from people and and older breeders, uh, which. Uh, uh, breed that that uh, that breed uh, in 19s and they told me uh, when uh, when the Serbian defense dog defeat uh, opponent in ring they uh, uh, this male or female uh, goes to to owner of, of beaten dog you know mm -hmm. they attack a owner of, of a dog who who lost the fight from SDD? Okay. Because because uh, the you know uh, in in ring in fight ring owner Bodripsa uh, drive his dog to fight to fight and and uh, uh, the Serbian defense dog want to uh, remove the uh, remove the threat. And, oh, and he attacked uh, after dog. Okay. He attacked the okay. owner. Of the so, dog. so you're saying that uh, so after the Serbian defense dog basically beat the the other dog in the ring, he looked at the the dog and the owner as a team or as a opposing yeah. army, and he went directly to attack the owner. Yes, yes. Okay. You understand correctly. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and okay. I just want I just I just want to clear it up for people and. Um, because I just, you know, I, I, I definitely find this uh, Serbian uh, defense dog to be very fascinating. Uh, you know, maybe one day when the channel grows a little bit, I can actually come to Serbia and film film dogs over there. Uh, You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, it would be great. That would be great. Anytime. Yeah, I would. I don't necessarily um, need to see the. I don't want to see the dogs fight, but I definitely like to. You know, because what I do, you know, I'm not a dog expert in the sense of I know everything about all dogs. But I feel like I'm becoming an expert in being able to uh, measure a dog's intensity and their just their energy because I'm always around a lot of dogs, different breeds. So I kind of get the um, the energy from dogs, and, I, and these dogs sound um, sound pretty, you know, pretty powerful, intelligent. What what does having the wolf in the dog do for the breed? Uh, the wolf uh, is a lot smarter than than dog. Okay. Um, let me ask you this: so the original um, the original Serbian mastiff was a war dog, right? Yes. What what is it? What is the breed? What work does the breed do today? And this dog is is very uh, very versatile, versatile dog. Versatile dog. And he can be uh, a, a good fighter. He can be a uh, very great uh, protective for for his owner. And uh, that that dog now mostly uh, work like a guardian dog. And he is very aggressive on his territory, on its territory. But uh, when I go outside with my dogs, they are very calm. Dogs. And uh, I have a uh, many. Uh, many examples when when the little dogs came uh, to attack us when I go in walk uh, these dogs are stray dogs or, or or from people who don't want neighbors and don't want to 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 train or, or to close 
their gates and they come out and, and attack us. But I I never had a problem with, with, with my dogs. Uh, uh, even if the dog is a little bit uh, bigger, when the when the dog is, is about uh, uh, about uh, I don't know uh, 50 kilos, about 100 pounds, and th and that uh, in in this time in that time my dog uh, go alert with bigger, uh, bigger attention with big, bigger attention on that dog, but never attack. I heard, but but pe uh, by people who who used uh, used to uh, engage in, in dog fights, they told me that uh, the Serbian defense dog uh, never attack opponent first. They always uh, defend himself, and when the other dog attack him previously, then he react. What is this, I guess, the overall general health of the breed? Meaning, like, are there like are there enough uh, Serbian defense dogs to for the breed to grow? Is there a lot of inbreeding going on? And then how healthy are the dogs? These dogs are, are very healthy, and they have no uh, problems with heart, with bones, with 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 that that stuff. And 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 these dogs are very. Resistant to 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 diseases and and weather. Okay. They have uh, they uh, they have to they have. Uh, they have to they have to they have to have medium length of hair. Okay. But some some of our dogs have a shorter. And some of those have a little bit longer. Depends of of gene, what 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 gene they pull. And but uh, our goal is to produce dogs with middle hair, with middle hair, like uh, like wolf, maybe a little bit a little bit shorter. But but we don't we we don't exclude uh, dogs who have with short with short hair. Okay. So basically, you're saying because of the fact that the gene pool is smaller, not a ton of dogs, you will yeah. still breed short-haired dogs into uh, your your breeding program, but you really want long-haired dogs at the end of the day. That's more desirable. Not not long hair, but or medium. medium hair dogs, right? Yes. Okay. And when you, and when you say long hair, are you talking about like the the or medium hair? Are you talking about like the length of a Rottweiler or the length of a? Yes, yes. That, like like a Rottweiler, something okay. like that. Okay, perfect, perfect. You know, one thing I didn't ask you, give me the general size of a of a male and a female in terms of height and weight. The size of the male is I, I now speak in inches and, and pounds. I, I that, I, that's okay, they'll figure it out. The, the size of the male is twenty five inches to twenty nine. Oh okay. And fe uh, females are from twenty three inches to twenty seven inches in shoulders. Weight uh, there is range for males from 121 pounds to 154 pounds. Females of uh, from 88 pounds to 132 pounds. That is a very big range, but right. but we have uh, we have dogs in in, in all of that, that shapes. Because uh, our our goal is not uh, to produce the the same uh, form uh, of dogs. Our first goal is to preserve uh, their temperament and character. Okay. So when you say, what, what was the top weight on the female? Top weight of female is about 132 pounds. Oh, 132 pounds. Okay. All right, Stanko. Well, you, listen. I want to wrap up this. I, I do appreciate your time and uh, and you know you being patient with me. Uh, I want to explain to everybody that this is a um, a guy that's actually working with a Serbian defense dog, and this is not a breed that's you know readily available to me here in the United States. Uh, I do hope you guys appreciate the presentation. Um, I just want to give you an opportunity, uh, Stanko, to, to give us your conclusion, uh, your thoughts on the breed, and. Um, how, and where do you see this breed going in the future? Okay, I, I want to to 
to tell you that, that we sold uh, one one female and one male in in Miami uh, about three or, or four years ago, and and this this uh, owner is very is very satisfied and, and happy with, with with his dogs, and uh, I want to. Uh, we sold the, the, uh, to many countries. Uh, Serbian French dog uh, are sold to the French, to Germany. In U UK, you have a lot of Serbian French dog, but not all originally Mr. Nana Gavilovic bloodlines. There is a uh, other other breeders who who breed uh, Banduga like Serbian French dog. But our goal is to preserve origin Aboriginal look of 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 Serbian dog and, and character. The Serbian defense dog have human role in this society in these days because the, there is a many criminal and burglar who attack older and weak people. And Serbian defense dog is there to protect them. Serbian defense dog is not one uh, more sport dog. He's he's serious guardian dog and, and he act like that. He protects territory very aggressive and he is not only on towards strangers. But outside in work, I, I, I already said he, he's very cal calm dog. Uh, in the world, uh, there are many sport dogs like Rottweiler, German Shepherd, Belgian Shepherd, Malinois, and the Serbian defense dog is different from them. He is very, he can be very dangerous, and and he um, ask a very uh, stable-minded owner who is uh, who is rep. Who is, who, who is major and and he he take responsibility for that big and very very dangerous dog in in hands of some uh, <laughs> the, the people who is not in very strong character they they are not good for for the only Serbian defense dog. Right. So let me just yeah. let me just recap that for you real quick. So basically, what you just told us is that the Serbian defense dog is a serious dog. It's a powerful dog. Uh, in the wrong hands with a person with bad character, unbalanced ego, wrong person, yeah. wrong mentality. This dog can be very dangerous. Yes, and yes. we don't want that. Yes, of course. Right, right. All right, go ahead and finish. But there, there are some examples where where the Serbian defense dog are very good uh, for for family, and uh, that is depends on. Of, uh, raising that that dog, right. I used to uh, keep Rottweilers. I have American Bulldogs, Bully lines, and Hybrid lines. Mm -hmm. I have a pair of American Bulldogs. 2004, uh, this year, unfortunately, my my female from American Bulldog died. But uh, I I tend to compare these breeds. Uh, I love uh, American Bulldogs very much. Uh, they always in 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 my heart, but. But Serbian defense dog are, are really uh, protect their territory and very furiously and and very uh, very aggressive. But uh, American bulldogs, uh, uh, according to my uh, my experience, I, I don't want to generalize the old breed. But uh, in my experience, American bulldog uh, is more calm dog than 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 Serbian defense dog. When when uh, defends his its territory, okay. and then the last, I guess the last question I didn't actually how how is the breed around children? A, a breed around the children of the owner is very good, but but uh, toward children from the other people is not is not tolerated. Okay. Every every man who is not live in this territory with dog, they they. A Serbian defense dog don't, don't accept accept them. Accept them. Okay. No. Okay. Well, there we got. All right. So I want to thank you again, Stanko. I appreciate your time. I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I'm going to do more of these things in in a, in a means in a way to you know to get more international uh, dog people onto uh, Dogumentary TV. Uh, Stanko is probably uh, definitely the the furthest I've reached out across the globe. To have somebody on the channel, I want to uh, thank you, Stanko, and I want to again just say, uh, if you haven't, uh, please subscribe to the channel. This is going to be uh, just getting bigger and better. All right, thank you.